For the 17th time out of the last 19 seasons, Liberty Women's Basketball is headed back to the Big South Championship. It was a 71-43 win for the Flames over Campbell in the semifinals on Saturday night. The Flames on Thursday in their quarterfinal win over UNC Asheville were plagued by a slow start in the first half. That would not be the case on Saturday as Liberty raced out to a 17-9 lead thanks in part to eight points from Ashley Reininger on the inside. Now after that, Campbell did make a run 14-5 over the next six minutes to take a 23-22 lead, but then Liberty ended the half on a 12-2 run to take a 34-25 lead into halftime. Ashley Reininger almost had a double-double in the first half as she finished with 10 points and nine rebounds. Liberty played poised basketball in the second half, going out to an 11-point lead with 16 minutes to play, 40-29, to and then really opened up the game with a 13-2 run that took them to the 9-30 mark as they led 53-31. In the end, though, Liberty would win this game again 71-43 for Liberty. They had four in double figures led by Ashley Reininger's 16 points and 14 rebounds. Liberty dominated on the boards 53-32 leading to 21 second chance points and Liberty's bench today was magnificent. 36 points from the non-starters led by two in double figures. That was Jamie Fisher Davis with 10 and Jasmine Gardner adding 10 and seven rebounds. After the ball game, head coach Kerry Green, Sedalia Ellis, and Ashley Reininger addressed the media. Well, I'm very pleased with that, the team effort today. Uh, we've been able to accomplish one of our goals to get in the championship game. Uh, very thankful for, for that. And uh, obviously thankful for, uh, for the contributions of these two here. But uh, the entire team was really involved in this one. Uh, Bench play was outstanding, and we needed the bench. The uh, starters had to go a lot of minutes early uh, in this particular game, and I felt like the bench really came in and gave us some positive contributions. I was thankful we've got another opportunity to play another game. Uh, I was very focused, you know. You never want to feel that feeling of losing in the semifinals, knowing you can win. And uh, we just knew that Campbell was going to come out hard, and we wanted to come out, you know, stronger. We had a slow start against Asheville, and we just knew we didn't want to have that again. So we wanted to – our goal was to get a 10-0 run in the first – you know, a few minutes we didn't get it, but we still, you know, stayed locked in and played defense and scored, so that was good. I think we just needed to calm down a little bit and uh, just take our time, and once we did that, we were able to uh, just take care of the ball and be able to score better inside. It's funny, you know, we always talk about David and Goliath, and it's kind of sad that we're the Goliath all the time, and everybody wants to be the David to slingshot us. But, you know, that just keeps us more focused. It keeps us toned in, honed in as a team, and just keep us, keeping us uh, as one unit on the court, so that's good. It all comes down now to Championship Sunday here in Conway, South Carolina. Tip-off at 5 o'clock between Liberty and the High Point Panthers. With the Flames at Coastal Carolina, I'm Alan York for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.